Greetings. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to get started using Instructor Canvas learning system. As you can see, when we log into Canvas, we land on the Canvas dashboard. Dashboard shows course titles, course cards for the classes. Presently, there are certain courses created in the Canvas. Teachers can also view their courses using the course icon and they populate in a list. If there are courses that the teacher has enrolled and they aren't visible on this list, teacher should click all courses to view the complete list of courses that are available. Then the dashboard has a toggle which you can toggle between the course card view, list view or a recent activity view which basically synthesizes layers of activities from multiple courses. If the teacher wants to start a new course, then by clicking this start a new course, it can be done so. Finally, to view grades from all courses, this option can be utilized. To get started in building content for a new course, teacher can get access by clicking on this link. The course by default is unpublished, that means students cannot see it. Teachers has the option of publishing the course or not publishing it as they need. I am going to go ahead and publish the course and see how it looks once the course is published. There are a lot of Canvas tools that a teacher can utilize with students including modules. So this teacher has already added a quiz item so that students can access the quiz. However, the link is not published nor the module. In order to students view these items, the teacher should publish these items and the course itself has to be published. Let's try to build a lesson in Canvas. How to do that? Easiest way of building a lesson in Canvas is to create a module. You do that by clicking the plus module icon which is blue and giving the module a name. I am going to call this test module. I am going to add it. You will see that now the module appears in this list. Again notice that it defaults to unpublished. You can publish any content within a module or the module itself by clicking or unclicking the grey backslash circle symbol.